morning everybody. It is Wani again, but I am cooking dinner this time. Now, if you're home um, working, uh, it's really good because you can really use your morning well. So instead of having to commute to work, you can use that commuting time to prepare dinner. So one of my favorite things that I love is the slow cooker. So this is my slow cooker here. You will notice that I do not have Teflon. I have a very solid, I don't know what it is, crockery. I would never use Teflon in my slow cooker. So you can go and look for one in a secondhand shop. Um, they're fairly cheap anywhere. Mine has just, a, it's a Russell Hobbs. Um, it has a couple of um, switches. It says off, low, high and auto. Really, really simple. So. There are lots of recipes, um, not only on my website, changinghabits.com.au, but there's lots of people that do these slow cooks. So you don't necessarily have to use my recipe. Um, you can use any recipe. And I'm a lazy cook. I, I am a lazy cook. So many people will say, you know, fry up your onions, sear your meat, put your garlic in, do things like that. Hey, if I don't have the time, I don't have the time to do that. So what I do is I throw. <laughs> So I'll chop up a sweet potato, a carrot, some onion, um, maybe a potato. I've already done a little bit of a chop on my chili, or maybe sometimes if I haven't got time, I'll throw the chili in. I'll put in um, the garlic, and sometimes I don't even take anything off it. So that's kind of a basis, then I'll put the chopped meat in. Then I need liquid. Uh, and so my liquid is usually the liquid I got from the time before. So this is, I've frozen this one, as you can see, it's nice and cold. Um, so this is a, a broth that I made up, oh, probably a couple of weeks ago, and I froze it because I knew that I wouldn't use all of the broth that I was gonna use. So I might put that whole thing in, and that's really easy to defrost. Another thing is that I made this up a couple of days ago. So this was a lamb shoulder that I did. I like to have bone in my, um, my broths because the bone will give you all the um, some, amino, some amino acids some minerals but it's got the gelatin and that's what I want that collagen that gelatin so this one I made up just a couple of days ago and it was a lamb shoulder um, I will use shanks I will use a chicken a whole chicken in there so I want to make sure that I put the liquid in there so while it's um, getting to that heating point and then staying on low you want it nicely covered if for some reason, you don't have any broths available. Let me see where I have it. We actually do um, do broths. So this is our, our beef broth. We have our beef broth. So if you have a problem with onion and garlic, and many people do because of fructose malabsorption, and I've written a lot of articles and done a documentary called What's With Wheat on Fructose Malabsorption, um, you can buy our naked beef broth. So you get this, put it in boiling water or hot, oh, boiled water that is hot um, and then you can add that to the crock pot. You can also, we've got a chicken broth as well so you could use our chicken broth. Um, sometimes what I do is I will just make up a broth and I'll add either my curry um, powder which we have a changing habits curry powder or you can use your own. Um, I'll put some turmeric in there, anti-inflammatory, love my ginger, put some ginger in there and then I always finish up with my seaweed salt. So my seaweed salt is Himalayan salt with seaweed. So I'm always using nutrient dense materials. Never ever would I put chicken tonight in or some magic, magic soup mix. They are not nutrient dense. They're a bunch of um, chemicals that make you think it's food, but it's not food. Read your ingredients if you are using those things. Go into your pantry now and have a look and, and see if you are using those. Because for me, they are not nourishing the body. They're not giving it the units that it needs or the ingredients that it needs in order to be the best it can possibly be. Your body has an innate intelligence. It knows what to do. Given the right resources, food being one of them, sunshine, clean water, grounding, being outside, nature, connection, have I missed anything, exercise, movement at least, you know. These are the things that your body requires. You have an evolutionary body. It needs evolutionary ways of survival. This modern world you can live in 
but you've got to do these things in order to survive. And we'll talk about more of those things in future videos. Um, oh, other things that I, I do um, use are my herbs. I forgot to tell you, I kind of throw them in. But I throw them in towards the end. So when, I, when I'm getting about an hour before, I might throw in some fennel. Um, I've got some uh, rosemary. Um, I've even got more garlic and chili. Like it just depends what herbs I've got because they're also nutrient dense. They will also add to the nutrition and the flavor. So it's not hard. Oh, and I even have some thyme that I just found. So you might throw that one in too, or oregano or whatever it is that um, you love and you're growing or you can get at your local market or from your local grower, then please use all of these things in your cooking. Um, so that will be ready for me. Once I've thrown the lamb shoulder in and everything like that, that will be actually ready for me tonight um, for, for, for dinner. I might throw on some broccoli. Um, I might throw on some mashed potato. It just depends what I've got in my in my fridge as to what I will have. Asparagus I could put in and then it's ready. You haven't had to do too much. It's um, You saw how quick and easy it was. That was less than six minutes. Talk to you soon. Bye.